This is the Data Color Spider X Pro. Basically, what you do with this thing is you drape it over your monitor, you let the software run, and it's going to measure the colors that your display can put out against the light in the room that you're in. And then it's going to make little color compensations. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that's very important if you do any kind of digital color correction, and that's calibrating your monitors. And the reason why you do this is because when people are viewing your images or your video or graphic design or whatever it is that you do on their phones or their laptops or their TV screens or their iPads, there's going to inevitably be some color shifting between those different devices. It's just the nature of the digital world. These things are made of physical electronic components and there's no way to guarantee 100% consistency across all of them. So what does that leave us, the creators, to do? Well, we have to get as objective as we can on our end to minimize the color shifts that would be happening on everyone else's devices. And we do that with this thing called a color calibrator. Let's say you were color correcting on a digital display and you were in a room with lots of very warm light and then you were to take that same display and move it to another room where there was cool light, the image you would see on that display would look different simply because of the color context you're in. I don't know if that's a very good phrase to use, but basically the ambient light around you is going to affect the way you see things on your devices. Now on iPhones and Macs, the Apple has this thing called True Tone where it actually will measure the ambient light in the room with little sensors on this and then it'll make some compensations just so that things look more or less accurate. But it's not nearly as accurate as something like this. So if you're doing any kind of color correction on your laptop screen, especially if you use a Mac, it's going to be good to turn that True Tone off and then manually calibrate with this so that you can ensure that whatever you're creating, wherever it's going to be viewed, is going to be seen as close as possible to what you were seeing when you were making the adjustments. And even if what you're delivering isn't digital, like for example, if you're a photographer and you're making color adjustments for photos that you're going to print one day, well, it would be really great if the way that those prints showed up was exactly what you were seeing on your monitor. That's where this comes in. Even if your display is the newest uh, Apple XDR liquid retina, whatever they call it, it's still important to get some objective measure and also to recalibrate every month or so because as time goes on, just the more your screen stays on, colors are going to drift around. Now, why does this matter? Why do I care so much about this? Well, images are representations of the world around us and we can make adjustments to these images to bring out certain feelings which are going to help me tell a better story that resonates. And if my monitor is all out of whack and I dial in one look and feel and then I export it and then someone else sees it on their phone or laptop and they see a completely different image than what I saw, then all of that effort that I put into creating that look goes completely to waste. And so you cannot trust your eyeballs. The rods and cones in your eyes are always viewing color, I guess in the context of the colors they were seeing beforehand. You know how if you go outside and if you look directly at the sun, which you shouldn't do, but if, if you've done it for like a quarter of a second, you'll notice if you look elsewhere, there's gonna be a little like blackish purplish spot in your vision. Well, that's because literally that the intensity of that light kind of burned out in your eyes and it's going to affect the way you see the world for the next several minutes. And so, you know, it's essential to get an objective measure of what you're looking at because you can't really trust your own eyeballs that much. And so uh, science comes to the rescue. You can find these things for about $200. In my opinion, it is well worth the investment. This is absolutely an essential piece for any video editor, graphic designer, photographer, colorist, whatever it is, you need to be getting into color calibration.